is homecoming for Moravian's football team this weekend. The Greyhounds are back at Rocco Cavill Field and will compete against Franklin and Marshall. The Diplomats are coming off a bye week with a record of 4-1, and one, while the Greyhounds are trying to bounce back from a loss to Gettysburg. Courtney Malinaro is at practice. She has a preview. It's a rainy and cold Thursday afternoon, but that didn't stop the Moravian football team from practicing for their upcoming game against Franklin and Marshall. It's that time of year when alumni return and school spirit is high. The Greyhound coaches and players said they can feel the excitement of homecoming in the air, although understand a key component to victory will be keeping the players focused on the field. The energy is always good around homecoming, you know. I heard Matt talking to get a lot of alumni back, and you know, we're going to have a packed, uh, packed stadium, rain or shine. Um, but really on the field, it doesn't matter. You're still going out and playing a game and uh, just doing what you do best. I think anybody's homecoming game is special, especially the seniors. And one of the things that they realize is guys come back, you know, who they, some of them that they know, others that they don't. And we tell them, you know, they're back here and they're remembering their homecoming game. So this is your chance to make the kind of memory that you want to have. And there's always a lot of fanfare and everything else. But, you know, the main thing is we're still going to kick it off at 1 o'clock and then get ready to go. It's definitely more excitement around here than probably normal just because uh, a lot of alumni come back and a lot of a lot more people are at the game. So it's probably going to we're probably going to be more pumped up and everything. So, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a normal game, though. We just have to get ready, just stay focused. And we can't let the excitement get too, too to our heads and not, uh, not play focus football. And according to Coach Dapp, focus football will hopefully lead to less mental mistakes on the offensive side of the ball, which has plagued the team so far this year. We seem to have a tendency just to make one bad play per series, and if we can't recover from that bad play, that's keeping us from getting into the end zone. So that's what we have to do. Well, I mean, it's definitely a team effort. It's not just just me or our running backs or our wide receivers. It has to be everyone together and do, working together as a team. And uh, we're clicking a little more now that um, we're just getting rolling more confidence on our side of the ball. So hopefully we can just work together as a team and get it going. Defensively, sophomore linebacker Jake Hildebrand said to expect a slightly different scheme. The Diplomats bring a strong offense into the game. Four out of five of their games, they scored 35 points or more. We're just going to play our game. We're going to do what we do best. We got a great, a great coach. We got a great scheme in place, and we got a, we got a good athletes on the defense side of the ball. So we're just going to do what we do best. I think the easiest way to stop them is not put them on the field. You know, so if we can control the football and, and then get points when we do have the football, it's going to make it more difficult for them. So I think even though it, you, you look at that and say, how does the defense stop them? Well, I think the offense has to stop them too. Catch the game live with two sports Saturday at 1:05 p.m. On the scene in Bethlehem, Courtney Molinero, Two Sports.